Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. Today we're going to make a motion activated door display by using an Arduino Uno and a PIR motion sensor. But before we start, I want to clear something up. I know this is late but I promised you guys last year that I will post this one this year so yeah. Also, this is supposed to be a 16x24 WS2812B RGB LED panel. But I accidentally broke one while soldering and have just decided to use three of them for aesthetic purposes. Let's go! Here are the things that we need. An Arduino Uno board, three 8x8 NeoPixel RGB panels and some jumper cables, some standoffs, jumper wires, and some male and female DC battle jacks, a 5 volt 30 amp power supply for power, and a wire stripper. Now, I know this beefy power supply seems a bit overkill, but I bought this one for future expandability. So, the first thing that we need to do is to set up and test our power supply. I used a generic computer power supply cord. Cut the female socket part of it, the one that is supposed to be connected to the computer, Then unsleeve it to reveal the three wires. The red or brown one is the positive lead, the blue one is the neutral or negative, and the green one is earth or ground. Check out this website for more information. Now we have to connect it like this. Just remember that your power supply might have different arrangements of the terminals. So remember to connect the wires on the right terminals or else you're going to die. Mine has an L, N, and ground symbol, so I need to connect the positive lead on the L, the negative lead on the N, and the ground lead on the ground terminal. Just like that. Now, I'm going to connect the leads of my multimeter onto their respective terminals. Just like this. I'm going to use my multimeter to adjust the voltage to exactly 5 volts. Okay, just going to plug the power cord. And there you go, 4.97 volts. Now to adjust it, and there, exactly 5 volts. Okay, now that we're done setting up our power supply, it's time to set up our LED panels. I'm going to use a double-sided tape to stick them together. Like this. and add some wood to make it sturdy. I'm going to stick this wood on the tape. As you can see here, I have already measured this for cutting. I'm going to use my Dremel on this. You can use other cutting tools if you want. Okay, now that that's done, we have to stick it on the double-sided tape like this. After that, we need to connect the DC barrel jacks onto the positive and negative leads of the panels for power. Then, add a 470 ohm resistor to the data lead. After connecting the data lead to the Arduino, it's time to test it using some sample codes from the Fast LED library, specifically the Demo Reel 100. The flickering is because of my camera, not the LED panels. Let's test another code.
Now, let's see if our edited code will work. You can download this one on the description below. The way this works is when the PIR motion sensor is not picking up anything, the LED panels will cycle different effects like some sort of screensaver on monitors. Then, when it detects movement, the scrolling text saying Happy Holidays and Happy New Year will appear. Just like this, the scrolling text would also cycle different colors. And when the movement stops, the effects will appear again, just like that. You just need a code for the motion sensor and Adafruit, NeoPixel, or Fast LED library and you're good to go. Now it's time to test it after setting it up outside. I use two PIR motion sensors here. One is placed on the ceiling and is connected to a 5V relay that is connected to an Arduino Nano and a 12V RGB LED strip. The Relay and Arduino Nano video will be available after next week. The other PIR sensor is located beside the door, so that the scrolling text would only show up when someone is nearby. I used a Nano and an Uno here, because I don't have a longer wire to connect the Relay and the other motion sensor to the Uno. And as you can see, the effect cycles on the panels are activated while the second sensor is not detecting movement. The first sensor is also not yet activating the relay because I'm not quite near enough. Now, I'm going to go upstairs to see if the code on both sensors and the MCU works properly. There, the first PIR sensor that is connected to the relay and Arduino Nano gets activated. And the second sensor that is connected to the Arduino Uno and LED panels also gets activated after a few steps. It's working as intended. Here is the code. Fast LED library and demo reel 100. There, those were the codes I used for the effect cycle while idle. Now, I'm going to open my edited or kit bash code. So, these are the code for the scrolling text. These are for the effect cycle that I got from the Demo Reel 100 example. And these are from the NeoPixel library which I forgot why I included and where I got it from. And these ones right here are for the PIR sensors. 
So uh, yeah, that's all for today guys. Thanks for watching and see you again next week.